What is up everybody, Everyday Angler here. I just got back from the beach and I was planning on releasing the beach fishing video. I was fly fishing in the surf, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that until Wednesday. Today we're gonna talk about something that I should have talked about and released this video a long time ago. Um, so let's get a little backstory on this before we get to the fishing portion of the video. So way back when I had just released my fly fishing day number three video, I had somebody message me, uh, it was Jared, and for those of you that don't know, Jared and Jesse are the owners of Southern Pines Guide Service. I didn't even know this at the time when he was messaging me, right? He's messaging me, we're talking back and forth, I end up calling him, we talked for like an hour, we ended up clicking pretty quickly. Uh, we both have a similar fishing background before we started fly fishing, and long story short, he ended up inviting me over to their house. So of course we get to their house. I really wanted to do a video. We have talked about doing a video, but at the same time, um, when I'm shooting a video, there's so much added pressure to, you know, make sure we catch fish, make sure we're getting good footage that I didn't want it to hinder us, you know, getting to know each other. Because we had just talked on the phone and messaged each other. I never met this guy, right? So we go over there. It was a breeze, like, there was no problem getting along with them. They were super nice, very welcoming. They took us to uh, Jared's office and I actually tied my first flies. I got a few pictures here. Omega tied some flies. And then after that, we just ate some pizza, chilled out. Then they took us to their lawn and we had like a little hour, hour and a half long casting lesson. Now, uh, I didn't get much footage of this. There's just a little clip of Omega casting a fly rod around. But out of everything that you guys are gonna see from this trip, the casting lesson that I didn't get much footage of was like the biggest impact for me because prior to this for some reason I couldn't figure it out every time I would cast my line would like bend to the left like it would like mend itself midair right I could never get like a straight cast Jared immediately said yeah you're casting too early or you're doing your forward cast way too early and my back cast I wasn't pulling hard enough anyways that's literally like helped me so much right after that I caught my first fish on the fly and I started releasing all these fly fishing videos. So yeah, that was like a big learning experience for me and I was just like super pumped to have somebody that has, you know, experience in fly fishing actually pointing out some things that I was doing wrong and stuff like that. So we did plan on doing their actual trip but the weekend that we went to go visit, it was either Labor Day or Memorial Day. I'm sorry guys, I'm bad with holidays. The point is, the river that we that they usually float was going to be packed with like kayakers and people on floats and all that stuff. So we decided just to go to a local reservoir, uh, do some warm water fly fishing. Actually, the only person I caught fish was Jesse. Uh, I did get some good footage of that, so let's roll that and I'll see you guys here in a minute. That's kind of the vicinity where I want you to cast. Yeah. And what I want you to do is put your rod tip down in the water, about six, eight inches. And just strip it, just short strips. Every now, throw a long one, just vary the stripping. Um, like, you know, shorter strips, pop something. And then what you're doing with, with streamers, what you don't really want to do is, um, it's like a little... oh, oh, I saw, I saw it. <laughs> the idea is not for me to catch fish. <laughs> no. So. don't ever really want to do you can give it a slight pause but the way I'm gonna explain this is gonna be weird so you're sitting at home you're watching the Discovery Channel and I'm kind of whatever right and you're watching the safari footage and you're watching this zebra or gazelle run from this cheetah or lion right and that cheetah and lion is bearing down on it and we both know that that thing is way faster than that gazelle or zebra but every time you watch that, at what point in time does the, like, if a gazelle just stops, yeah. this, the, the line or whatever, it's like, this isn't right, it's, it's not gonna pursue it. It's waiting for a directional change. It wants it to keep moving. Like a fleeting bait fish isn't gonna stop after it gets, you know, boogied down and ran off. Sorry, that's a little. Well, I understand what you're saying. But you've gotta have that, like, when they chase the fly, it's gonna be a predatory thing. It's not gonna be like, oh, I'm just browsing for food. All right, everybody, I'm gonna step down into the bottom a little bit. 
Where was he? There's more. Just right over there. She got him. I still got a little shot. Do you want to hold it and get a picture, baby? Well, you don't have to set the hook nearly as quickly with them. No, it's warm water again. Yeah, what? I was like, it felt super slow. Yeah, you don't even realize you got a fish so you strip it the next time. Yeah. At least me. I was like, oh. All right, my turn. Got it? Yeah. Cool. Oh. Good job, baby. Yay. Yeah, good job. Yeah. First fish on the boat. Yeah, first, first. first yeah, in this boat. Pretty good. This, this thing's just been like on tour patrol. How's that little thing not gonna be right there? That's not that small. That's another crappie. Oh, that's a crappie. Zoom in on it. <laughs> I was even looking at Jared when I when Ooh. I no, felt something. They just don't fight as much as I felt like they got used it. to. That's awesome though. It's a good size. That's a nice little slab. Spin it to me, bring it to me just a little bit. That's because I'm a good guy. Look at you guys. <laughs> that was clutch right there. That was. Good job, baby. Alright, I think you can just release it. Here you go. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm about to tie on whatever she got on. You only had one, man. I'm sorry. We can, I can rig up something. Maybe even some chain pickerel. <laughs> I'm just messing, dude. Like, you gotta, you know. No, nah, dude, you know what that was? That was just a little bluegill. <laughs> it probably did not large mouth. Yeah, I think it was. I saw it. Oh man. So the reason I talk trash when people miss fish is I don't want them getting frustrated. Like it's yeah. gotta be a comment. I don't thing. get angry dude. Oh no, but it happens like. I'm not gonna like slam the boat or anything like. <laughs> so yeah, uh, caught like three crappie. Uh, I didn't catch anything. I missed like two fish. I only got one fish that I missed on camera, but anyways guys, this is just like a big thank you to Jesse and Jared. Uh, the little time that we spent together, like, progressed my fly fishing so much, you know. Obviously, I can't express it with words or even on camera. But all you guys have to know is, like, right after that trip is when I did the rock bass video, all these panfish videos, my kusa bass videos. So something, like, clicked with just having somebody with experience pointing out some things that I was doing wrong. And uh, I kind of got addicted to tying flies while I was there, too. I've been tying a lot of flies lately. Uh, I want to do some fly tying videos and I will soon. I'll let you guys know when my first one will be coming out. I actually ended up trading a bunch of my conventional fishing stuff that I had way too much of anyways for fly tying stuff, fly fishing gear. So I'm like loaded up with pretty much everything I need and if I didn't get that little spark, that little click in my head from Jared and Jesse with the casting lesson and him just explaining a lot of stuff to me it would have been really hard to struggle in doing that with myself. I mean, you guys know I've released three videos where I didn't catch anything on the fly. So actually when we got back from uh, fishing, we had like, Jesse and Jared pretty much prepared like a steak dinner. And I'm not talking about like eight ounce Applebee's steak. I'm talking about like a fat steak and potatoes. So to have somebody so welcoming and to be able to share so much knowledge with you, that you really didn't even know until I went to his house was just crazy. Thank you guys a lot again. And uh, if you guys want more information on Southern Pikes Guide Service, I would love to be able to tell you about the float or the guided trip that they take. But like I said, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go on it. They do have a promo video that will kind of give you a better idea of what it's all about. I'm going to leave that in my end screen. I'm also going to leave in a link in my description. And I'm also going to leave a link in the description to their Southern Pines Guide Service Facebook page. So you guys can definitely go check them out. Uh, this video is just like a big thank you for y'all. And I'm sorry it's so late. I just really didn't know how I was going to put all this little footage together. I'm sure we'll see each other again and do like a proper video. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and remember my beach fishing video will be on Wednesday, uh, probably around 5 o'clock so keep an eye out for it. I've had a blast 
And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for next week's episode of The Everyday Angler.